What are you guys doing here? We must have all gotten the same text from Dan. The last time he was his secret, if he showed up with a baby. Don't worry, you're not about to become a grandfather, though Dan is about to give birth in another way. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is how every murder mystery begins. Serena, how was your job? Uh, really great, actually. So great, she has no time for me. Well, I would if you weren't asleep every time I got home. Uh, I'm still jet lagged. Haven't you been home for weeks? It certainly feels that way when I'm around you. Serena, quick question. You don't happen to know a girl named Ivy, do you? Well, I don't think so, why? Oh, well, I found her cell, but I don't know how to get it back to her. Your number was in her phone book. What's your number? I'll dial it. Look, here's Dan. Hey, everyone, thank you so much for coming. I only have five minutes. This better be really important. What is this all about? Is everything all right? This isn't about me, right? Yeah, what's going on, Dan? This is going to be fun. I'm sorry to call everyone here on such short notice, but, uh... All right, you know how there's been all this speculation about the book that's being published by an anonymous author? Yeah, Gossip Girl said it was about us. Yeah, it was probably written by some loser who doesn't even know us. Well, not exactly. I am that loser. I wrote it. And it is based on you, sort of, all of you. Looks like it's going to be a hot time in this old town tonight. Let's just hope Lonely Boy and his book don't go up in flames. Hey, what are you doing? I thought you were waiting downstairs. I'm tired of waiting. When are you gonna tell them? Soon, I promise. Soon isn't soon enough. It's time they all knew about us. <laughs> What's so funny? I think you should ask Dad. Uh, well, I, I might have made your character a little gay. <laughs> I hope that's okay. Stop enjoying this so much. You wanted me to feel something, that's a feeling. Do I have game? Oh, definitely. Huh. I'm cool with that. I, I know it. It's gonna be a little weird for everyone reading characters inspired by themselves, but I, I, I wanna make it clear. This book is a work of fiction. And after you read it, I hope that you'll feel good enough about it and me that uh, you will come to this book party tonight. The publisher is announcing that I'm the author, so. Yeah, of course we'll be there. Well, read it first and then decide because, I, you know, I didn't have a lot of time to make changes and there are some instances where it's not exactly how I would have wanted it. One well, artist never feels his work is perfect. It's good to always try for more. I am so proud of you, son. I am going to cancel my whole day with panic just so I can savor your book. So, now that this unnecessary meeting about America's future doorstop is adjourned, do you want to go grab a cup of decaf? Oh, I would love to, be, but I'm already late for work. I got to get back. Well, maybe after work then. If this is about the book, don't worry. Everyone loves a villain. I wouldn't say there's a villain per se. Well, I can tell you who isn't. Come on, every girl needs to be knocked off her pedestal a little. Can't handle that kind of pressure. <laughs> I'll see you later. Um, you know that story I wrote that Louis killed? It's in the book? Yeah, I figured, but if it's all the same to you, I think I'd like to stay in the dark about just how nastily you've portrayed me. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, you know, we're just recently friends again. Why ruin a good thing? Yeah, and, uh... I'm sorry in advance, but I have a better offer than your party tonight. Louis and I are telling our families our news. Good luck. You too. Your novel seems to be uh, very well punctuated, and I like the font. <laughs> <laughs>